guys, it is really snowy outside. This is the second snow of the season for us. It was 60 degrees yesterday and today it's in the 30s and it's snowing. Miss Kitty, if you're cold, that's not the place to be. Because that windowsill is going to be cold for you to sit there. And I think you have been drinking my coffee. Is that what you've been doing? Hmm? Have you been drinking my coffee? I'm pretty sure you have. Well, I don't think I was that messy the last time I took a sip from it. It was all you. Okay, so here is what I'm currently working on. I am absolutely in love with this fabric. It is so pretty and feminine and delicate. So, <clears throat> um... It's not really going the way I would have liked. Um, there are some design flaws. Um, over here, in the side seam, is the salvage edge, which is really great for when you don't want your stuff to unravel, but um, I don't know how I'm going to cover that other, with, other than maybe a piping or just leave it maybe take the seam allowance a little bit deeper to take that away it is in the underarm so i don't think it will be horribly noticeable and there's going to be a ton going on in the rest of the dress that i don't think it'll be terribly noticeable or stand out um <clears throat> when i cut this out um silly me um i decided to trim this fabric down lower which then raised this right here so it's actually quite an arch in the bottom like midriff front of the dress and the midriff front panel is not actually as pointed as this and i don't have any more of this fabric to recut the midriff front from so i'm thinking that whatever fabric i can get on the midriff front as it is i will do but I may have to put like a little facing on this and finish this raw edge right here and have it be like a little a little keyhole that's open right there in the midriff front. So something like that, like a little keyhole. <clears throat> and then the mat in the back, I think it'll match, you know, the keyhole sort of theme. So back here, um, I actually hate having to do and undo these uh, types of buttons. And I certainly don't like having to rely on my husband to help me with this. Not that he ever complains and he's always happy to do so, but I just don't like not being able to do them myself. So I'm actually going to sew this permanently closed and then just put the buttons on and loop the buttons and it will be a permanently closed button closure. And <clears throat> I've made this dress before with the center back of this closed and it is not a problem to get in and out of the dress. So it's actually pinned right here and all the way this way because I was having trouble with the front and I needed, you know, to put it on the mannequin to see if I could work out some bugs and stuff. I'm extremely happy with the way it looks. It is so sweet and so feminine and that little the little keyhole or vent in the back will be very, very light and summery. Um, again, my other dress that I have of this, I, I absolutely love. And it took me forever to finish that other dress because I was so fearful of this keyhole being so revealing um, that I was worried about it. So um, I need to finish the armholes with the armhole facing and do some other work to it but I'm hoping that this arch here will work out in my favor if not I may have to either like I said do the keyhole trick or maybe even insert a piece of fabric in there to cover it um, this is a, tr a dress that I 
maybe am planning to wear to church in the summer if we start going more consistently or regularly to church um, and I don't want it to be horribly inappropriate to wear to church so the um, keyhole back may be inappropriate um, I may have to wear like a white tank top though, or just to cover that uh, keyhole in the back so um, that's as far as I've gotten on it I do plan to put some buttons on it they're actually over here So I have some larger buttons that I'm going to put down the center front. I will insert a picture of what that is. They're pinned on there, but I'll insert a picture of what that looks like. And then in the back, I'm going to do um, these smaller uh, yellow buttons. So the larger ones in the front, smaller ones in the back. And of course those will be permanently done and in the front they'll just be decorative buttons just to bring out that yellow a little bit more so i am i'm very happy with the fabric i love the fabric i could probably get some more of it it was just a fabric that i got at joanne fabrics um but i try to not ever have to get more of any fabric if i can possibly possibly get away with not having to get any more fabric but if I absolutely have to I may have to go and get some and I just know that if I go and get more fabric to finish this dress I'll probably pick out some more fabrics so since I love this blue one so much they also had it in a pink which I'm not horribly gone on wearing a ton of pink um, in my wardrobe I don't own a lot of pink um, I for some reason people always compliment me compliment me and say it looks good on me but I just don't own a lot of pink so that's where I'm at um, hopefully I will get this done soon and be able to do a try on or a look of what it looks like on me I also have a purse in mind um, with this purse frame I have this little purse frame here um, it's one of those kiss clasp purses or something I'm not sure yeah and it just opens it's incredibly hard to see, but it just opens like a little kiss clasp. But anyway, <laughs> I plan to make a uh, little purse out of this uh, purse frame uh, to go with not only what I'm currently making, but several other makes that are currently in my closet as it is. So um, I just want a large purse that I can have multiple choices on. Uh, fabrics that I can wear with the purse or pair with the, the purse frame so so yeah that's where it stands yay it's finished I am very pleased with it I don't want to stand in the light here and the cat yeah, it was not hard to make at all. It's a very simple. Um, it's currently on the mannequin, but um, I could wear it with or without a petticoat. That's what I really like about it. So on the back, I can adjust this one-handed. Apparently I have a little bit more of a booty than the uh, mannequin does, but that's alright. Um, the buttons are here in the back. And they're uh, elastic looped buttons. And I'm very happy with it. It doesn't look like much on the mannequin, but I do really like it on. So I'll have to put it on and see if I can do a couple of uh, little twirly do's or whirly gigs or twirly twirlies. <laughs> a couple twirls in it. Oh, so I can see what it looks like on and how it moves. Um, and I'll also insert some still pictures or still shots of it. But that's it. And over here, which I took it off the mannequin. It's actually the mock-up for the next project. So yeah, I'm already working on the next one. And this one's going to be a chrysanthemum print. So we'll see how that gets along.